I'm going to show you how I made that um, background picture as you see in the example. Um, it is not exactly for you to copy but it is more to, ins to give you some inspiration of what is possible. Um, I downloaded a wallpaper from the internet called Magic Castle and I'm going to use that as the background of my medieval dresses. Um, this is far too sharp, far too blue, far too... so I'm going to adjust a bit on this. Uh, to start out I'm going to take away all the colors so I'm going to black and white and I'll choose maximum white here it is and I say OK well that is black and white but it's still too too dark for me so I'm going to um, adjust brightness and contrast and I'm going to give it a lot of brightness and a bit more contrast something of the kind it's not doesn't come very much exact good um, I also think it is a bit too sharp still even if I'm going to fade it in I want it to be a bit more blurry so I go to filters I choose blur I choose the Gaussian blur and um, well make it like a little bit it doesn't have to be that much one pixel should do there we go beautiful just a little bit blurry now what I'm going to use is uh, because I'm going to apply this texture into another texture blend them together and uh, that is a very nice uh, uh, technique a very beautiful technique that is only available in Photoshop so what I need now is to have a second picture with a gradient that I am going to use to fade this one in. Well in order to do that I select the whole uh, picture, I do that with Ctrl A and I copy it, Ctrl C. Not that I'm going to use it but if I have put the copy on the clipboard then, and that is a nice feature of Photoshop, the exact same sizes are going to be used for a new image. I can call it a vendor, vendor example. Good. This Vander example needs to have a gradient, so I click my gradient tool, I want the radian, radiant, not linear, but radiant, and I want it light in the middle, dark in the outside, since dark is the foreground color, I will have to make sure that reverse is checked. Now I start here from somewhere in the middle and take a straight line to the corner and there we go. So light in the middle, dark in the corners. This is uh, enough. Um, now we are going to do that apply image. So we go to image and we say apply image. Uh, you see here is uh, a new window that talks about the source and about the target. Well, I want the vendor example to be the target but the source should be that magic castle that I have um, worked on. Well this is the normal multiply blending mode. It looks beautiful but now look here if you are going to play with these multiply um, uh, settings like a color burn it's going to make it real dark or lighten. Look at this it is uh, really lightening up. Um, overlay Look, the sun is really giving rays of light inside. Well, I think that for me exclusion will do the job because that makes it real spooky. I say OK. All I have to do now is uh, get in that picture that uh, I, the, 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 the model that I want to have on this picture. And um, let's have a look. There we go. And I drag in the model. There she is. I drag the layer, drag it to there. And if I hold my shift key, the aspect stays correct. I can also click this, grab her in the corner, and make her a little bit smaller. There, I'll put her like she's going through the door. It is correct like this. Well, this is just for you as an inspiration. You can always um, play with the settings, make it lighter, make it darker, uh, fade in, uh, fade out a little bit more. 
I think uh, the last time I made that example, I made the background a little bit more faded out, but um, it is all up to you to play with it.